suction rod. We're happy, aren't we? This line's half the diameter of a six weight. Just watch how much water I can cover with it. That's right on the other side of the lake. Yeah, you're not really shooting a lot of line using this. You know, it's not that shooting head kind of feel like. It's a much more controlled and delicate and accurate presentation. To be honest, in winter, you know, I could go down to a clear intermediate. Not on this rod, I'd go a shorter rod. I'd go like a nine foot rod, clear intermediate, five weight, and start ripping some laws around, but I don't need to. I can, I've got this law on this three weight, and I can cover water, but it's more suited to spiders, dries, nymphs, small laws, cormorants, the top two foot, you know? What does a 10 foot six inch give me? Control, what? Long casts. You see, I've nearly covered the whole of the water, but I've not shot any line yet. The line's still in the air, so if a fish was cruising left to right, I could just perfectly lay it down onto him, you see? With length, you get a longer lever so you can control line, and if the line is thin, you're not spooking the fish as you're false casting over it. So you've got control. Control is accuracy, accuracy is putting the fish, putting the fly where the fish are on their cruising lane. You catch fish doing it. Let me tell you, the 10 foot 6 inch 3 weight is going to be the new staple of still waters. This for me is, ah, it's like it's my new go-to outfit. You see it takes a couple of casts to get that head out. Once the head's out, then you're into real control, real fine fishing. I mean, it's middle of winter here. Imagine if we were fishing in summer. Right, and there's fish picking off dries all the time. Mate, it'd be deadly. People use seven weights, eight weights, to try and cover a fishery. This is a 10 foot six inch, three weight. With a 39 foot head on it, floating line. I've got all the control in the world because of the length of the rod. And a massive amount of delicacy because it's a three weight line. You do not need stiff action rods and fat fly lines to cover water. This is a small still water. But I would take this, this is a perfect boat rod, yeah? Dabbling, dries, nymphs, people use six weights for that, you know? They think they're being light when they drop to a five and only then when it's calm. No, no, no. You get the right gear. This is a micro light, 10 foot six inch, three weight. Okay, what have we got? We've got a small EVA fighting book there. I like that because it jams into the wrist when I'm casting. Okay, simple as that. Then we've got a 20% thinner carbon blank. We've got two K-series titanium torsite strippers. We've got this feature on here where you turn the rod either right or left and it offsets the guides. That reduces friction further. And then we've got single leg strippers all the way through. The blank is matte gray. The rings are anodized black and the frames on these titanium are also black. So everything's about, you know, reducing light reflection. Right now it's a bit of figure eight, a bit of stripping. Ooh. The 10 foot six inch three weight is gonna be the new staple of still waters. This for me is, ah, it's like it's my new go-to outfit. Yeah.